Okay, we'll begin with uh, Jeff Weltman, President of Basketball Operations. Thanks, Joel. Welcome back, everybody. Been a long time. Um, well, I'm going to be really brief uh, because this is about these guys today. Um, you know, when I was growing up, my dad told me that you can judge a person by the way he plays. And if you guys want to know about these guys, watch them play. They play for their teammates and they play to win. And that's what they're going to bring to our team. And uh, we just felt that a lot of things broke our way last night. Very excited to be here. And um, with that, I'll kind of turn it over to questions for these guys. Okay, if you can wait for a microphone and state your name and affiliation. Oh, I'm sorry. Before, before I begin, I'd also like to welcome <laughs> Molly and Robert, Jalen's parents, and Axel, Franz's father, and the agents. Darren Matsubara and Jason Glushan. Thank you guys all for being here today and welcome to the Magic family. Thank you, Jeff. We'll start with Dan Savage. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. This is for Jalen and Franz. What have the last 24 hours been like? I'm sure it's been you know, quite a whirlwind. Uh, whirlwind is perfect. Uh, a lot of emotions. Um, excited, uh, you know, ready to get out here. Uh, you know, from the moment that you know, I heard that they were going to take me you know, and they called my name. Uh, you know, I was just happy, excited, you know, to share that moment with my family, friends uh, who were in Barclays that night. Um, and then to call my boy RJ, you know, when I got backstage and to see how happy the fans were, you know, and he was. And, uh, knowing that I'm coming into a place, you know, that's going to embrace me with open arms. Uh, I couldn't be more happy. Yeah, man, for me, also, obviously, super excited. Um, dream come true. Um, you think about them all for, for so long. You work, put so much work and, and time into it. And uh, then to see the family and, and friends afterwards. Um, also, you was the, the best part of the night. Go ahead, Philip. Uh, Philip Rossman, right? Orlando Magic Daily.com. Welcome to Orlando, uh, both of you. Um, obviously, both top 10 picks. I mean, sort of kind of a dream come true for you both been in big moments with big time programs in Gonzaga and Michigan. Was there a moment uh, when you were in college or as you were playing where you realized that you could be a, a top 10 pick? And could you describe that moment? Um, I feel like it's, it's a multitude uh, of a bunch of different working in the gym, uh, you know, and perfecting my craft and, and starting to feel myself become better, you know, every day, you know, and then performing in the games uh, in big moments, uh, making big time plays. You know, I think all those coupled up, uh, you know, have helped me and just realize and open my eyes that, you know, this opportunity uh, to sit here in this chair uh, is very real and you know, made it to a reality. Yeah, I mean, just like Jan said, I think for me, um, there's not that one moment. It's just like you, you keep working every day, and I think if you, if you keep the mindset every day and uh, – don't look too much uh, in the future, then uh, then good things normally happen. So um, I try to improve as much as I can every day, and um, yeah, just do my do my best every day. And uh, like I said, that's when good things happen for you. Uh, right here, Luke Ketrick, Spectrum Sports 360, both for Jeff and Jalen. Uh, what was it like for you guys? The reaction that you had watching the first couple picks unfold, and then seeing what Toronto had decided to do at four, where this was going to be the pick then at number five. Um, I was so happy. Um, you know, I, I was happy for Scott in Toronto. Um, uh, you know, everything was out of my control last night. Uh, there was nothing in that, you know, while I was sitting down at the table, I could do or say, uh, that would change anyone's opinion or what they decide to do. Um, and I mean, the balls, uh, balls fell the right way. And, you know, I ended up in a great organization, with even better people. And I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Jamie. Jamie Say, uh, WKMG. Um, Jalen, I'm just wondering how far back do you and RJ go, and what has he talked to you about the magic? And then I got another question. My other question is, you know, there's such a youth movement here with the magic. How exciting is it to be part of that, knowing the ball is going to be in your hands? Me and RJ go way back. You know, even to when we didn't didn't know each other and, you know, unknowingly played against each other uh, down in Texas. Um just great people, comes from a great family, uh, all down to earth and, you know, genuine loving people. So, you know, now I have an opportunity, you know, things that we talked about. You know, I remember sitting in Buffalo Wild Wings for USA Basketball and, you know, RJ, you know, we're sitting at the table watching the draft like, yo, this is going to be us in a couple of years. You know, like how crazy would it be if we ended up on the same team? And, you know, now it, it turned out that we're here together, you know, hopefully locker roommates. So, um, 
just great people, great family. Um, and then uh, what was the other question? I forgot. Oh, sorry. Um, I love it, you know, and it, it comes with expectation, you know, being high picks like this, um, but I'm embracing it all. And, you know, being here with a bunch of young guys who are hungry, hungry to succeed and win and become better. Uh, those are the kind of people I want to be around. Um, and I feel like we can create something special here with the group that we have. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get to work with everybody. Go ahead, Darren. Darren Stoltz with West 2 News. This is for you, Jeff. You said a lot of things broke your way last night. How does that help determine – the mindset and the goals and what you want to accomplish in this next season? Uh, you know, look, our, our, our goals are to develop our players and as our players improve, our team will improve. So um, I don't look at uh, anything being um, altered last night as far as what our goals are. Uh, but obviously, you know, you, you hope to get players that fit um, on and off the court that you can grow with and that will slot into the goals that you're trying to uh, reach. And uh, that's what I meant when I say that, you know, we feel that things broke our way last night. We consider ourselves very fortunate. More directly, can this accelerate things as you try to rebuild the process? Oh, you know me. I, I don't like to ever put timetables on things. Uh, you know, you're looking at a 19 year old and a 20 year old and, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to work and they're going to be well coached. And, you know, we're going to do things the right way. And, um, you know, their timetable will unfold as it does. You know, we're just very excited because when you have this combination of talent and character and team orientation and everything else that we're going to try to give them to succeed, generally good things are going to happen. And so that's all we're looking for right now. Go ahead, Philip. I'm sorry. It's me. <laughs> Mackenzie Thurko with the Orlando Magic. And this question is actually for you, coach. I've seen you do a lot of head nodding in agreement with what has been said. What are you looking forward to from these two guys now on your squad? Well, Mackenzie, just like you said, these guys are great from the from our organization for what, what why they're here. I mean, we talked about their family, what they represent and how they represent it. It's it's all exactly what this is. Um, you talk about the play on the court, selfless, hardworking, competitive basketball IQ winners. Um, and that's what we're representing. And that's what falls in line with this locker room. But you see how together they are, like Jalen talking about RJ. Um, just there's an ability to, for them to connect and us to stay connected. So that's why I'm just smiling and nodding because you see that's, that's the start of it right there. Luke? Uh, Luke Kettrick, Spectrum Sports. Uh, coach, as you came into the process and were keen on picking these guys, uh, why was it these two guys for you uh, that you feel they can be so successful when you identified them early in the process? Well, I think it's part of what Jeff and the, the team have done. And it's just my job to kind of analyze it and look at it and see how it best fits. And you see these two, I'll say it again, you talk about competitive, you talk about selfless, you talk about guys that it's understanding about the team and winning whatever that means, whatever it takes at a high level. And I think those are characteristics that are going to be huge in our success. Go ahead, Philip. Uh, Philip Rossmark again, Orlando Magic Daily. Franz, um, obviously your, your, your brother has played for this organization, been in the NBA for a while. What has he kind of told you about preparing for this, for this level of play and, and for, for kind of joining this, this team in, in, in this organization? I mean, yeah, that's completely different from, from college. Uh, obviously, 82-game season is, is a different type of of a beast and, uh, you know, what, 30, 40 games. So um, just preparing your body for, body for that and also um, being mentally stable. I think a lot of ups and downs in, the, in a long season like that. So uh, I think it's important to have uh, family, friends that, that can support you and, uh, you know, kind of just help you in tough times maybe. And uh, also just uh, embrace it and enjoy every, every moment. Uh, I mean, like I said earlier, it's so hard to get here and put so much work and time into it that, um, you know, now it's time to have fun on the court and, and like I said, enjoy everything. Go ahead, David. David Steele, Valley Sports, Magic TV. Franz, uh, you played in Michigan under a former NBA player, Joan Howard. How much did that help you? And what are the what are a couple of the things that you picked up playing for a former NBA guy that'll help you in your first year in the NBA? Yeah, great experience with Coach Howard. Um, great person. Uh, first off, uh, always had an open door for for all the players. 
not just coming and talk about basketball, but you know, maybe just life. I maybe just have some questions. Um, he had a lot of good stories about the NBA and, and what it takes to get there for sure. Um, but I think our play style, I think, is the most important thing. We played uh, up tempo basketball and and then an NBA offense, and um, we played for the most part drop coverage, which is which is what, what most defenses in the NBA look like. So um, I hope having played uh, against that for two years now uh, can help me. Shane. Uh, Shane Whitehead, WFTV. Jalen, a uh, lot of people in the arena last night watching the draft on the big screen. Huge cheer after the fourth pick. They seemed to know that you were next, and then a really big cheer when your name was called. Um, what's it like going into this knowing that this fan base seemingly has your back from the start? Uh, it's the perfect feeling. Uh, you know, again, to see all the videos of everybody in the arena yesterday, you know, chanting my name when the name got, uh, when the pick was called, um, to see how happy they were, uh, you know, now hopefully to bring my positive vibe, energy, you know, good spirit in, you know, and embrace them and hopefully they embrace me as well. Uh, so really, I can't wait, you know, to start meeting everybody, uh, seeing the fans, you know, fill up the Amway Center, uh, and really just start to put on a show and, and get some wins for them. Cody? Cody Taylor, USA Today. Jalen, you're obviously familiar with RJ and Cole was there last night. What are your overall impressions of the roster, and, and have you been able to talk to any other of your uh, teammates now? Uh, yeah, I talked to Wendell. Um, I talked to Cole RJ, of course. Uh, you know, Gary hit me last night. Uh, but just a, a, a versatile roster. Uh, of course, young, um, but everybody here, you know, wants to work, wants to win. You know, is going to do whatever it takes to, do, uh, to get that. So um, I think top to bottom, you know, guys who can do, you know, multiple different things. And, you know, when you start to put those things together on the court and, you know, the more we get comfortable with each other in preseason, training camp and, and all that, those kinds of things, um, you know, the more dangerous we're going to become. So I, I can't wait to get working and, you know, start beating everybody. For both uh, Jalen and Franz, uh, coaches talked about playing with pace, space in the past offensively and defensively being disruptive. How do you feel those those elements fit your game and, and, and what you could bring to the table there? I think that they fit them extremely well. Uh, you know, that's what we did at Gonzaga, you know, pushing the ball and, you know, throwing the ball ahead, you know, making the right basketball play, uh, you know, not, not making any superhero plays or selfish plays. So, um, you know, I think just the way I played my entire life, you know, is perfect for the fit, you know, and everything that coach wants to do. So, you know, getting ready to work with him, uh, you know, being an extension of him on the court uh, when I get here and bring my leadership to the locker room um, are all things that I'm going to provide. And, uh, Again, I keep saying it, but I mean, I'm overjoyed and just so excited to get working and get started. Uh, I, I totally agree. I think um, at Michigan, we played a, a similar style too. Um, like I said, up tempo, um, fast pace, and um, obviously, we had a lot of shooters at Michigan, so I um, hope I can bring that to the team. And defensively, I think I'm a good two way player. Um, hopefully, I can guard multiple positions. And, uh, you know, good off the ball. I think I pride myself on, on being a good player on the court, even if I don't have the ball. So, um, with guys like RJ, Cole, and Jalen now, I think, um, I think I'll fit in uh, really well and maybe uh, can help those guys um, make easier reads and easier decisions. Okay, we'll go Luke and then Zach. Uh, for Jalen Franz and Coach, you guys are all, even Coach, relatively new to Orlando. Outside of basketball, what are you guys most looking forward to experiencing about life here in Central Florida? Um, again, the people, uh, you know, the great weather. Uh, you know, coming in and, you know, golf is something that I'm picking up. So I'm looking to be outside a lot, uh, enjoying the sunshine and being on the green. So uh, really just just open to being being in Orlando, you know, meeting all the people um, and just, again, bringing my good vibes and, and positive energy. Yeah, just enjoying the weather, uh, playing in Michigan for two years. I, I can't wait to, <laughs> to have some good weather. Um, no, just, yeah, just in being outside. Uh, maybe I'll pick up some golf I haven't, I haven't really played. Um, so, um, oh yeah, and just, just hanging out with my teammates, I think that's a good thing about, about this team that there's a lot of guys, a lot of young group, a large young group that, you know, is in a similar stage in their, in their lives. So, um, you know, I think that would, that would be a fun time. Go ahead, Zach. You guys grew up, uh, obviously everybody that wants to, that picks up a basketball wants to become an NBA player. You guys are holding two jerseys now with your names on the back of them. You know, what's it mean to you when you first saw that to know that, that you are actually an NBA player now? Um, 
It was surreal, honestly. And again, it's been hitting me in stages, you know, in different moments. Um, you know, waking up on draft night with one of them, uh, you know, getting to Barclays, you know, and then sitting down and hearing my name called with another one. Um, and then this morning, uh, when I got in, got to the hotel, you know, saw my jersey laid out on the bed. Uh, you know, my new threads, uh, it just put the biggest smile on my face, you know, and I haven't, the smile hasn't gone away since last night. Yeah, same for me. I think it um, hasn't really hit home yet for me. Um, even after last night, um, after I got drafted, um, spent the time with my family and stuff. But once I saw that jersey, I was like, this morning, I was like, yeah, this, this, this is about to be real. So um, really excited to get started here. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. Go ahead, Jamie. Uh, Jalen, one of the lasting memories from this NCAA tournament was the shot you hit against UCLA. Not everybody will take that shot. Not everybody can make that shot. I'm just wondering if you could describe the confidence and belief that you have in yourself and the mentality you take on the court. Um, I just understand the work that I put in, uh, you know, and that's what I pride myself in and, and coming in every day, you know, to the to the facility, uh, you know, whether it's like in Zaga, you know, back at home and just getting better. Um, and in doing that, you know, coupled with my confidence, you know, I want the ball in my hands uh, in big time moments, you know, making big plays. Um, and I think the work that I put in, um, you know, my teammates trust me to do so. And I mean, going to the side, it, it was a crazy moment uh, to end off an even better game. Uh, so, yeah, I think just couple of my confidence, um, you know, my abilities, uh, you know, and knowing that, you know, my teammates want me to have the ball, you know, to make the right decision uh, during those times. Cody? Uh, for you two, prior to last night, have, have you guys crossed paths before? And if not, what were kind of your impressions of each other from afar? Uh, no, we haven't. It's, uh, yesterday was my first time meeting my boy. Oh, but good people, uh, you know, just knowing that he's a hard worker. I've seen what he's done at Michigan, uh, a ridiculous amount of talent. Uh, and, you know, you can tell he plays the right way. Uh, so I can't wait to you know, start kicking it off the court and, you know, getting to know him a little bit better. Yeah, same here. Uh, I've watched watch a bunch of Gonzaga games, so I uh, know all about Jennings game. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, really excited to play with a dynamic player like he is. Uh, it was a lot of fun watching him play. I uh, wish we would have played in, in the NCAAs, but... Um, no, yeah, I'm very excited to, to go play with them. Okay, I think that will do it. Thank you, everyone.